Lumiere is a project by Google Research introducing a space-time diffusion model that generates the entire temporal duration of the video at once for real-time video generation. Now, this is in contrast to existing video models, which synthesize distant keyframes, followed by temporal super resolution, an approach that inherently makes global temporal consistency difficult to achieve, as you see here in the paper by Cornell. If you're new to the channel, my name is Ben Silverman, and I focus on making AI more accessible to creatives, giving them superpowers so they can scale and really focus on what they do best. I put together an AI toolbox that acts like my second brain, which I put absolutely everything in that I learned so you don't have to dive down various rabbit holes and do what took me basically a year to be able to put together. The link is in the description. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. It would really help me and my channel out. So Lumiere can generate full frame rate, low resolution videos by processing in multiple space-time scales. It leverages both spatial and temporal down and up sampling. Now they do have similar features as the other tools out there, but I'm gonna show you really what this looks like and, and I mean, it looks amazing. So you come to their uh, research paper. I'm gonna go ahead and put this link in the bio as well. Um, and Lumiere, a space-time diffusion model for realistic video generation. So I'm gonna come back here. Text to video, it converts text prompts into videos. Now look at some of these examples. This is a knight riding a horse in a countryside, like a panda. So these are, these are what their text to video has generated. They're literally putting everything into AI right now. This is all created. Tro toy poodle dog rides a penny uh, board outside. That's a wolf. Like these, these are amazing. And now um, if you look down their image to video, which transforms input images into videos based on prompts, gets you this. So this was a photo of a panda, a panda eating bamboo on a rock. And then that was the that was the prompt to get to this animation. So this is a photo of a relaxed ocean waves video. That prompt was given to get this. So I'm gonna go through here a little bit. Like I love this sloth. A fluffy baby sloth with an orange knitted hat trying to figure out a laptop. Um, a cat playing the piano. So this is pretty amazing. So they gave this photo of the, the, the girl with a pearl, pearl earring, a girl wrinkling and smiling. I mean, this is, you could literally make the Mona Lisa smile and laugh. I mean, that looks pretty impressive. This all looks pretty impressive. Uh, you know this photo, a time lapse of an oil painting of a starry night with clouds moving. Uh, pretty incredible. Like, look at some of this stuff. And I haven't even gotten to the best part yet. So stylized generation, using a single reference image, Lumiere can generate videos in the target style by utilizing fine-tuned text to image model weights. Now, um, this is pretty cool, a bear dancing, so you can just put them in different styles. So you give it a reference over here, that's the image reference, and then you give uh, the prompt, a girl with a beanie dancing. So this is uh, pretty incredible. Like, like these are stickers that are animating based on that style. That's, that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. This is some of the most impressive uh, generation that I personally have seen thus far. Um, now, if you look at video stylization, this is pretty cool. So with Lumiere, off-the-shelf text-based image editing methods can be used for consistent video editing. Now look, this is the source video over here. And if you look over to the side, you can see wooden blocks and how all these images are wooden blocks, origami folded, uh, colorful toy bricks. Uh, made of flowers. Uh, that's pretty impressive if you look at it. Like, pretty impressive. Now, cinemagraphs, um, right here it says the Lumiere model is able to animate the content of an image within a specific user. So, so for instance, cinemagraphs are usually uh, images that have like a piece of the image animating. You know, when I had my, my uh, old company that we, we did a lot of animations in VFX, we literally spent a lot of time doing this. So um, this is, I mean, it's fascinating. You literally have the image, you put a box over it, and say what you want it to do. So this in this image, you have a, a train and you wanna animate the smoke, this is what you get. It just animates that one piece 
and then you get the butterfly. So this is what it does. This is, to me, one of the more impressive bits of it, which is the video in painting. The only other place I've seen this so far is uh, the, the uh, video of Adobe and what they were planning on including in their next version, which I've been uh, really excited for, but I have not seen yet. I, I think it's called Fast Fill. So basically they masked a lot of photos and then they asked for it to complete the photo. So they masked this balloon and this is, half of this is AI generated. They mask this and what you're seeing right now, the AI generated the pieces that were missing. Uh, imagine what you can do with this. This is incredible. Also can be scary again. I don't want to ignore the fact that people can use it to do things that are probably not ethically sound. Uh, but the amount of things you can creatively do with this and the amount of uh, abilities creative people have, it's just off the, it's off the, the wall, the chain, the whatnot, whatever it is. And once you start thinking of, you know, once you, if you look at the, the Disney uh, hollow tiles, which is the omnidirectional treadmill that just came out, which is pretty remarkable too. I mean, just think about how close we are to get the hollow deck from Star Trek, you know, and then you could, you could basically put different types of flowers in, put a plane in, you could basically paint an image and a, a reality that you want to experience, or if you want to meditate or whatever, you, whatever it is you want to do. Um, again, here we go, source video. Uh, put a mask over the, the girl right here and then ask for a uh, yellow dress, right? The gold gown. This put um, a crown or glasses on an owl. You put uh, right here, wearing a bathrobe, wearing a party hat. Uh, put a scarf, change the dresses. It's unbelievable, unbelievable. So that is Google Lumiere. I mean, um, I do know the the last video that Google put out. They've they embellished a little bit on what it can actually do. I I believe that this could probably get to what they're saying. I know Google is literally spending all of their time focused on AI, and I know that. Uh, the CEOs and the whole the whole C-suite and everybody over there has literally uh, said to the whole entire staff that their focus for 2024 is to literally make the best AI model out there. So uh, I believe where they're going. The question is, is when are these tools going to get into our hands that we can play with and see for ourselves? That's the, the thing I'm most excited about.